Hey guys, welcome back to part two of the Hunger Games Simulator with people from my Discord. Uh, the video went super long, so I had to cut it into two parts, but I'm just going to start off from where we left off. Bordelizer receives medical supplies from an unknown sponsor. He's made of rock, so I don't know what the supplies would be. Great Dane overhears nerdy scientists and Gabriel talking in the distance. Ligmano camouflages himself in the bushes just like me. Construction worker overhears the Kid Leroy and Dragonfire the Dragon talking in the distance. No one's dead. Okay. Lunam questions his sanity. Oh, Hanogad receives fresh food from an unknown sponsor. The best man and nerdy scientist sleep in shifts. Mr. Hoodie stays awake all night. The Kid Leroy cries himself to sleep. Oh, okay. Great Dane receives fresh food from an unknown sponsor, and Bulldolizer receives a hatchet from an unknown sponsor. I attempt to start a fire, but I'm unsuccessful. If this happened in real life, I probably could also not start a fire. I'm, maybe. I've taken some classes on that, but not many. Why Ligmano, Rama, TCG, and Snoopers tell each other ghost stories to lighten the mood? Construction worker screams for help. Dragonfire the dragon passes out from exhaustion. And Gabriel climbs a tree to rest. Why practices his archery? Dragonfire the Dragon camouflages himself in the bushes. Dragonfire the Dragon is a massive, huge dragon that, like, destroys stuff. And he's like, a bush would cover, like, one one-hundredth of his body. So, one percent. Great camouflage. Gabriel also covers himself in bushes. Nerdy scientist collects fruit. Construction worker runs away from Bulldolizer. I receive a hatchet. The Kid Leroy injures himself. Snoopers begs for Lunam to kill him. He refuses, keeping Snoopers alive. Ligmano attacks Mr. Hoodie, but he manages to escape. And the Great Dane is pricked by thorns while picking berries. Rumble, Realm Rumble TCG travels to higher ground. And the best man steals from Ohana God while he isn't looking. No one's dead. No one has died for like a day or two. The best man receives fresh food from an unknown spot. Oh, uh, before I continue, I should say who I think is going to win right now. Um... Because no bias, no bias at all is influencing my guess, but I think I'm going to win because, wait. So the next line is me, Snoopers, and why get into a fight and Snoopers kills me and why. So never mind, I'm not going to win. I think probably Snoopers is going to win or Bulldolizer just because Snoopers has killed people and Bulldolizer just seems like he would win. Dragonfire the Dragon receives medical supplies from an unknown sponsor. Ligmano sets up camp for the night. Bulldolizer and Realm Rumble TCG huddle for warmth. Ohano God defeats Gabriel in a fight but spares his life. And Lunam defeats Great Dane in a fight but spares his life. So, a lot of mercy. Construction worker receives fresh food from an unknown sponsor. And the kid Leroy thinks about home. Nerdy Scientist begs for Mr. Hoodie to kill him. He refuses, keeping Nerdy Scientist alive. Round Rumble TCG and the Kid Leroy work together for the day. Construction Worker and Gabriel split up to search for resources. Ohano God sprains his ankle, ankle while running away from Mr. Hoodie. I'm going to zoom in because last because I just remembered last time it was like super blurry and you guys couldn't see it. So I don't, I don't think. So I'm just going to zoom in a bit to see if that helps. It's too late though. It's already like halfway through the second game. But Nuri Scientist, Great Nane, and the Best Man, and Lunam hunt for the tributes. And Ligmano, Dragonfire the Dragon, and Bulldolizer hunt for the tributes. And then Snoopers discovers a cave. Only me and Y are dead. Nerdy Scientist is awoken by nightmares. The best man loses sight of where he is. Snoopers falls into a pit and dies. Okay. Ligmano and Ohano God threaten a double suicide. It fails and they die. I don't know why you would do that. I mean, if you've seen Hunger Games, I guess you would know. But I don't know why you would do that. Lunam receives fresh food from an unknown sponsor. Mr. Hoodie convinces Bull Mr. Hoodie convinces Bullizer to snuggle with him. Mr. Hoodie, I know you're probably gonna be watching this. So I'm gonna put a picture of Bullizer with your profile picture on the screen. Okay, moving on. Great Dane tries to treat his infection. Construction worker climbs a tree to rest. Dragonfire the dragon receives medical supplies. Realm Rumble TCG quietly hums. Gabriel receives fresh food from an unknown sponsor. And the Kid Leroy is awoken by nightmares. Bulldolizer discovers a river. 
Lunam begs for the Killoroi to kill him. He reluctantly obliges, killing Lunam. No more mercy. Great Dane receives fresh food from an unknown sponsor. Realm Rumble TCG diverts construction workers' attention and runs away. The best man hunts for other tributes. Gabriel ambushes Dragonfire the Dragon and kills him. Wow. Mr. Hoodie receives an explosive from an unknown sponsor, and Nerdy Scientist receives a hatchet. Snoopers, Ligmano, Ohano God, Lunam, and Dragonfire the Dragon are all dead. Gabriel and Bulldozer sleep in shifts. The Great Dane starts a fire. Realm Rumble TCG dies trying to escape the arena. The Kid Leroy climbs a tree to rest. Nuri Scientist is awoken by nightmares. Mr. Hoodie kills construction worker while he is sleeping. And the best man falls into a frozen lake and drowns. Okay, the Cornucopia is replenished with food, supplies, weapons, and memoirs from the Tribute's families. Mr. Hoodie and Nuri Scientist do not go. Bulldozer kills Gabriel for his supplies, and the Great Dane strangles the Killer Roy after engaging in a fistfight. Oh no, we still have two bots, and if one of them wins again, that's gonna be very sad. Technically, we're gonna say Mister. I mean, we're gonna say the Zoistine won the last game since we're not gonna count bot wins, but let's hope not a bot wins this time. Great Dane and Nuri Scientist hunt for the tributes. Mr. Hoodie hunts for other tributes, and Bulldozer makes a slingshot. Five people are dead. Mr. Hoodie tries to treat his infection. Nuri Scientist and Great Dane hold hands. Oh, Nuri Scientist is a bot, and I honestly forgot who Great Dane was because half of these people use nicknames that wasn't their Discord name, but I'm now going to put a picture of Nuri Scientist with Great Dane's profile picture on the screen. Okay, Bulldozer attempts to start a fire, but is unsuccessful. Only Bulldozer is dead. Wait, why is Bulldozer dead? Did, 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 uh, did, did I miss something? Okay. Apparently, he just died from not having warmth. Great day and Nuri Scientists huddle for warmth. First, they huddle. Not snuggle. I thought it was snuggle. But first, they hold hands, and now they s huddle. And then Mr. Hoodie cooks his food before putting his fire out. Uh, they all are hunting for other tributes. No one's dead. Uh, Great Dane starts a fire. Mr. Hoodie goes to sleep. And Nurse Scientist climbs a tree to rest. Uh, Mr. Hoodie bashes... Oh, Mr. Hoodie won. Wait. Yeah, Mr. Hoodie bashes Great Dane's head in with a mace. And Nurse Scientist eats toxic berries. Come on, Nurse Scientist. You're a nerdy scientist. You should know that berries are toxic. Mr. Hoodie has won the second round of the Discord games. And I'm going to do one more. Maybe. Uh, Mr. Hoodie, two kills. Second place, Nerdy Scientist. And third place is the Great Dane. And in last place, we have Crystal Chaos. Wait, why does it say second place, third place, fourth place, fifth place, sixth place? And then it goes... Third place, third place, fourth place. That's weird. Anyway, we're going to do a third game because even this video is going to be like half an hour long probably. I don't even know. Yeah. Yeah, half, pretty long. Anyway, we'll do another game. Okay. This will be the final game. As the Zwaistine stand on the podiums, the horn sounds. The Zwaistine grabs, or er, as the tributes, I might have said. Yeah. The Zwaistine grabs a jar of fishing bait while Lobster gets fishing gear. Dragonfire the Dragon and Ligmano fight for a bag. Dragonfire the Dragon gives up and retreats. The best man catches Bulldozer off guard and kills him. This is the first time Bulldozer has died in early game. He usually lasts a while. Infasana retrieves a, retrieves a trident from inside the cornucopia. Gabriel runs away. Mr. Hoodie gets a spear from inside the cornucopia. I run away. Nuri Scientist falls into a fl frozen lake and drowns. Waro Hasaruki runs away. Ohano God takes a handful of throwing knives. Lunam runs away. Gilded Golem falls into a frozen lake and drowns. There's just a frozen lake in the middle of nowhere. Okay. Y runs away from the cornucopia. Construction worker runs away. Great Dane runs away. The best man to ever be a pickle runs away. The kid Leroy runs away. Crystal Chaos TCG takes a spear. Snoopers and Sandai fight for a bag. Sandai gives up and retreats. And then Realm Rumble gets a pair of sighs. Okay, 
Snooper sprains his ankle while running away from Mr. Hoodie. Great Dane and Dragonfire the Dragon split up to search for resources. Lunam chases Gabriel. Lobster Dude searches for firewood. The best man constructs a shack. The best man to ever be a pickle discovers a river. Construction worker tries to spear a fish with a trident. Sandai practices his archery. Waro Hasaruki questions his, her sanity. Realm Rumble TCG, sh- me, stranded, and the Kid Leroy hunt for other tributes. Infasana receives fresh food. This is the way Stanton thinks about home. Ohano God begs for Crystal Chaos TCG to kill him, but he refuses, keeping Ohano God alive. Y searches for water, and Ligmano receives clean water from an unknown sponsor. And Bodalizer, Nurse Scientist, and Gilda Gollum are all dead, but neither of them are actually people, so I don't really care. Lobster Dude defeats Sandai in a fight, but spares his life. Construction Worker throws a knife into Mr. Hoodie's chest. That was quite violent. The best man to ever be a pickle goes to sleep. Infasana and Gabriel run into each other inside the truce. Ohano God, Waro Hasuki, and Ram Rumble TCG sleep in shifts. The Zwaystein passes out from exhaustion. Crystal Chaos TCG questions his sanity. Me and Dragonfire the Dragon, uh, my two, my alt and my normal account, huddle for warmth. Lunam and the Kid Leroy run into each other and decide a truce. The best man screams for help. Why cries himself to sleep. Ligmano dies from hunger. And the Great Dane sets up camp for the night. And then Snooper starts a fire. Dragonfire the Dragon collects, collects fruit from a tree. The Kid Leroy tries to sleep through the entire day. I'm fairly certain he did also did this in the first game, so he's slacking. Waro Hasaruki stabs Infasana with a tree branch. I'm also fairly certain this is the second time Waro Hasaruki has stabbed someone with a tree branch. The Great Dame receives medical supplies from an unknown sponsor. The Zwaystein steals some Crystal Chaos TCG while he isn't looking. Snoopers travels to higher ground. The best man to ever be a pickle chases Ron Rumble TCG. Gabriel receives medical supplies from an unknown sponsor. Lunam, Sandai, Y, and Ohano God hunt for other tributes. The best man practices his archery. I try to sleep through the entire day as well, so now I feel kind of about kind of um, mixed feelings about calling the Kid Leroy a slacker. You know, I guess it's okay to sleep through the entire day as long as it's me doing it and not someone else. So you're still a slacker. A uh, construction worker makes a wind spear, and the lobster dude questions his sanity. Ooh, finally, an arena event. I've been waiting for this. A fire is spraying through the arena. Let's hope stuff interesting happens. Sandai survives. I survive. Y survives. The fire catches up to Gabriel and kills him. The Kid Leroy falls to the ground, but kicks construction worker hard enough to make to, to then push him into the fire. So I don't know if the Kid Leroy dies, but I do know construction worker for sure dies. Dragonfire, the dragon survives. Oh, yeah, all these people survive, so. Yeah, the best man, every pickle, lobster dude, Waro Hazuki, Ohano God, Realm Rumble, TCG, the best man, the Zwaystein, and Crystal Chaos, TCG, all survive. A fireball strikes the Great Dane, killing him. Snoopers and Lunam survive. So, the Killer Roy did not die when he fell to the ground. Mr. Hoodie, Ligmano, Infasana, Gabriel, Construction Worker, and the Great Dane are all dead. Realm Rumble TCG thinks about winning. Oh, I keep freaking to do this, but I need to see who I think is going to win. I think it's probably going to be... It's really hard because, like, there's no obvious thing. I just... Because he's thinking about winning, I think he has the motivation to do it. So, Realm Rumble TCG, let's see if he can win. Lobster Dude receives medical supplies. The best man to ever be a pickle questions his sanity. Lunam defeats Ohano God in a fight but spares his life. Y is unable to start a fire and sleeps without warmth. Waro Hasaruki receives an explosive from an unknown sponsor. The Kid, Laroi, Sand Eye, and Snoopers discuss the games and what might happen in the morning. The Zwasting convinces the, the Zwasting convinces the best man to not kill him, only to kill him instead. Crystal Chaos TCG destroys my supplies while I'm sleeping. And Dragonfire the Dragon thinks about home. So if I this confused me a bit. So, but I think the Zwaystein was like, "Hey, best man, you should kill me." But then the Zwaystein killed the best man instead. So, Stuper sees smoke rising in the distance, but does not investigate. Lunam, Lobster Dude, Realm Rumble, Ohano God, and Ohano God raid Sandai's camp while he is hunting. 
why sprains his ankle running away from Dragonfire the Dragon. The best man to be a pickle discovers a cave. Waro Hasuruki dies from hypothermia. And there's frozen lakes at the start too. So I think they're in like a wintry, snowy place. Crystal Chaos TCG sprains his ankle while running away from the Kid Leroy. And I catch Zwasting off guard and kill him. That's kind of sad. The best man, Waro Hasuruki, and the Zwasting are all dead. Lunam, the Kid Leroy, and Ohana God track down and kill me. That's not very nice. Lobster Dude, Crystal Chaos TCG, and Dragonfire the Dragon discuss the games and what might happen next. I feel like this is the, the least amount of bots we have ever had this far into the game. Because there's only Dragonfire the Dragon and Sandai. So I hope they die soon so that we can actually get some good, you know, pl actual pl people versus other people. Snoopers and Rum Rumble tell stories about themselves. Oh, Sandai, oh, why is awakened by nightmares and Sandai stabs the best man to be a pickle in the back with a trident? Okay, Ohana God makes a slingshot. The Killer Roy steals from Crystal Chaos TCG while he isn't looking. Snoopers receives clean water from an unknown sponsor. Sandai attacks Dragonfire the Dragon, but he manages to escape. Man, I wish one of them killed the other because these are both bots. Realm Rumble TCG sees smoke rising, but decides not to investigate. And Y overhears Lunam and Lobster Dude talking in the distance. <laughs> Another arena of it. Carnivorous squirrels start attacking the tributes. This will be this will be amusing. Sandai survives. Lobster Dude tries to kill as many squirrels as he can, but there are too many. Dragonfire the Dragon survives. Realm Rumble survives. The squirrels. The squirrels separate and kill Y and Crystal Chaos TCG. Ohanogod, in agony, kills the Kid Leroy so he does not have to be attacked by the squirrels. Because if you read the Hunger Games, you know, like, if you kill someone, if people enough people die, then, because they're, like, controlling the squirrels. So, if you kill someone, then they're like, okay, well, he killed someone, so let's move the squirrels on to someone else. Lunam and Snoopers are both killed by squirrels. This is a hilarious arena, ar arena event. Also, is it the second one? Yeah, it's the second one so far. A lot of people are dead. Me, the best man to be a pickle, Lobster Dude, Y, Crystal Chaos CCG, The Kid Leroy, Lunam, and Snoopers. I kind of jinxed it by saying, I hope the boss died because we have the least amount. And now every single person has died except for the two bots and two others. Oh, Hanna God stays awake all night. Realm Rumble begs for Dragonfire the Dragon to kill him, but he refuses, keeping Realm Rumble alive, and Sand Sandai is awoken by nightmares. The Cornucopia is replenished with food, supplies, weapons, and mem memoirs from the Tribute's families. Oh, Hanna God gathers as much food into a bag as he can before fleeing. Sandai destroys Dragonfire the Dragon's memoirs out of spite, and Realm Rumble sobs while gripping a photo of his friends and family. Okay. Oh, I thought this said stabs, not stock. Ohano God searches for water source. Ron Rumble thinks about home, and Dragonfire the Dragon stalks, not stabs, Sandai. No one's dead. Ohano God sets up camp. Sandai lets Dragonfire the boss are just help each other out. Ron Rumble TCG cries himself to sleep, and that is the end of night five. Now it's day six. Ohano God and Ron Rumble TCG work together for the day, and Sandai. They're helping each other out. Sandai tends to dragon fire the dragon's wounds. Bots versus humans. Ooh, Realm Rumble strangles Sandai after engaging in a fist fight. So Realm Rumble's taking down one bot. Ohana God sets up camp for the night, and then Dragonfire the Dragon sees the fire coming from Ohana God's camp, but stays hidden. Dragonfire the Dragon steals from Ohana God while he isn't looking, and Realm Rumble TCG discovers a river. And only Sandai is dead. Night 7. Ohana God is awoken by nightmares. Realm Rumble kills Dragonfire the Dragon's head and bashes his head against the rock multiple times. So even after he's dead, he's still hitting his head against the rock. So now we're just down to Realm Rumble and Ohana God. And if you remember, I'm pretty sure I said Realm Rumble is going to win. So he better win. Oh, he just died. Ohana God taints Realm Rumble's food, killing him. So Ohana God. Wait. Ohana God has, from District 7 has won the di the third round of the Discord games with Realm Rumble TCG taking second place. Well, this was a great video. Very interesting. Um, 
Yes. Well, uh, if I make more videos like this, you should join my Discord server so you know that when I make these types of videos. Uh, please like and subscribe. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Also, it's spring break, so I'll have time to make a lot of videos this week. So hopefully I will not make just one, but multiple.